Oh my god, look at that beautiful sunset. So nice. And the reflection on the water too. Hey friends, I just read an article that said, I, sorry, I wanted to share that real quick because that was so beautiful. I just read an article that said that foreigners, nationals that stay in Malaysia that have an expired visa must pay 1,000 ringgit before they can leave Malaysia if their uh, visa has expired within one year. And then if you have stayed more than one year with a visa expired, then you have to pay up to 3,000 ringgit. And I'm not sure like what circumstances this includes because I actually got some messages from uh, people that have watched my videos. They know I'm a foreigner currently in Malaysia. And I just wanted to share what I found on the news. So I found, I can link this article in the description below, but it's from Malay Mail. I've also seen it on the Facebook group of the Malaysia Immigration. So it should be pretty legit uh, news. So it says, um, according to August 5th, it's currently August 9th right now. Four nationals who have overstayed in Malaysia for a period of a year and below will be compounded 1,000 ringgits. And that's according to the Immigration Director General Tatuk. Uh, I'm just not going to pronounce the name because I'm just going to slaughter it. Uh, they will have to come to the Immigration Department to obtain a special pass and pay the compound of 1,000 if they overstayed not more than a year. So that would be me because I've already overstayed in Malaysia, but not by a year. And it was only because the immigration had told me because of the whole pandemic, there's a special circumstance. So they allow us to stay longer. We're not here. We're here illegally, not illegally. And then they have to settle this amount before they can leave and in person. And then if you've stayed more than a year, you face a maximum compound of 3000. So I guess that doesn't mean automatically 1,000 automatically 3,000 it's just the maximum fee that you have to pay and then in June the government announced that foreigners whose social pass visit expired during the MCO are allowed to get an extension which I mentioned that before and then they also said if you have your visa expired during the RMCO then you can board uh, and leave uh, Malaysia within 14 days from the expiration of RMCO so this is very confusing. From what I see, I think it means that if your visa expired during the RMCO, you may not have to pay this 1000 compound before you leave. But if it expired before and then it's within a year, I think you have to pay a compound of 1000. That's from my understanding, I could be completely wrong. And that would mean I'm in that category and I have to pay amount up to 1000 before I can leave here. And then if you had your visa expired during the RMCO, I'm guessing that means you're free. You can leave without having to do anything. Uh, this is just the news that I've seen up to date. If there's something else that comes up, I'll let you guys know. I just want to share this information because I know there's some of you that watch my videos that have friends that are foreigners as well, or you're a foreigner yourself. If you have some information about this, please, please comment down below because I think I would be so grateful for just an update. Otherwise, it's like out of the blue, you have to pay an extra 1000 to 3000 for some people. Yeah, well, let me know what you guys think. I hope you're having an amazing day. It's currently Sunday here. Yeah, I just wanted to show that sunset real quick. Uh, it's still there, but almost gone. Wow, so amazing. This is why foreigners want to stay in Malaysia. So beautiful course coming here legally and that's it for today's video uh, i'll see you guys in the next one take care love y'all bye